Hello again. Today's card's going to be a pop-up box card with a window on the bottom. I'm using mainly Gerda Steiner Designs Lucky Duck and some of Lawn Fawn's Mermaid for You. I've already pre-colored and pre-cut the images and the panels for the decoration just because it's a lot of steps and all the dimensions and measurements will be down in the description box below. I'm starting out with a six and a half by 12 piece of paper and I'm scoring along with the four points, two and three quarters, five and a half, eight and a quarter, and at 11 inches. I'll score on the short side at two and three quarters. And where you scored at 11 inches, you'll cut down about two and a half inches and cut this off at an angle. This is the tab that will be used to tape the box together. I pre-cut the panels and I'm showing you the inside of the box and the measurements are at the bottom of the screen and also the outside of the box. Everything is listed below in case you can't catch the measurements on the screen. And you'll notice that there's that one missing panel, but that's for the window that we'll cut open later on. For the large panel, I'm cutting down two and a half inches for all the scored lines. And those are the flaps that actually open up on the box. For the decoration inside the box, I used a blue colored piece of paper since I wanted it to look like waves inside since it's an ocean scene. So I cut a piece of paper that was four and three quarters long and I scored it at one inch on each side. And I'll cut these down and set aside for later. I'm using a Teflon bone folder to help fold my scored lines just to make sure that everything is easy to fold and it lines up. So I'll go ahead and glue down all the decorative panels on the box. You can also choose to decorate the outside panels however you like with more stamps or embellishments. But for me, since the card already had so many parts to it, I went the easy route and just used pattern paper. So for the acetate window at the bottom of the box, I'm marking 3 and 8 inches from each edge on that bottom area. And I used an X-Acto knife to cut this out because I didn't have a perfect rectangle to use through a die cut machine. I'll cut a piece of acetate and glue it on the inside of the box. So I finish up gluing the inside panels and you'll notice that I make a mistake with that first one. It's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be for the longer panel, but you make mistakes when you make cards and you just gently pull it off. So for that longer piece, I wanted to split it so that there was a sky and then the pattern paper. So I use Salty Ocean Distress Ink to quickly color in the sky and it's really messy and it kind of makes it more realistic when it's a little messy. So I just leave a little white space for clouds and the rest I color in with the blue. So I take the pattern paper and I'm using a scalloped edge die cut to create the waves. And while I'm at it, I'm taking the blue strips that I cut out and set aside for later to do the same so everything has waves. And once I'm happy with it, I'll cut it down and glue it on. So I'm using a Xyron sticker maker to help create stickers out of these images. And I'm playing around with everything just to see where I want things to go once I create these stickers. So for me, it's easier to assemble the box first and then work on decorating the inside. So I'll put this together and make sure everything folds and lines up correctly. I cut the blue colored waves down to allow a quarter inch for the double sided tape so you won't see the waves through the window. And I'll tape it inside the box. And when you're done with this, you'll be decorating the box as you see fit. And notice that I only have tape on the side of the strips because it's going into the middle. 
I'm using Zot's glue dots to adhere the images to the waves and I'm just decorating as I want it to look. So I realized that one of my strips needed to be wider because I wanted to stamp the duck peeking into the water, but I wanted the water waves to be at the top of the box so you can see the transition of him peeking his head into the water. And so I stamp that on the strip and I leave a quarter inch on that bottom portion of the strip for the tape again. Once that's ready to go, I stick on the top portion of the duck onto the wave. And here's the tricky part with the Zyron sticker maker. I have to put the images that I want sticking to the acetate face down so that the sticky portion is actually on the image. And you'll see that I'm doing some upside down and some not. So once these stickers are ready to go, I'm using reverse tweezers to help me place the images onto the box since it's pretty narrow and I already assembled the box and it allows me to move things if I'm unhappy. So I'm taking the pieces that I put in the Xyron sticker maker face down onto the acetate window so it sticks onto the acetate and it is secure. I'm cutting three strips of acetate about half an inch wide. These will hold the fish that will appear to be swimming in the box, but it also gives it dimension. I'm adding double-sided tape to the top pieces of the acetate and then adding the fish. And I'm going to use my reverse tweezers to also place the fish onto the waves. So the acetate is sticking to the waves and it will be hanging, and so it gives the 3D effect of an aquarium within that box. I just cut a piece of paper that's two and a half inches and I use distress ink to color the edges and I stamp the sentiment. And once I glue that on, the card's done. The card might seem complicated, but if you get all the pieces cut out first and then the box assembled, it's relatively quick and easy to put together. And I really like this card because it allows a top and bottom seam, perfect for any ocean and land stamp sets. And this particular set has a half land and half water element that makes it even more perfect for the card. And as always, I'll have the measurements in the description box below, along with all the supplies I used. And I hope you enjoyed this card. It's one of my favorites. So have a great day. Bye.